Baraka Dayahawa, Baraka Dayahawa Shah, Baraka Dayahawa, Baraka Dayahawa Shah. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Now, just uh, looking at the prophecies in the scriptures and how the uh, elders and the high priests that was in uh, Israel at the time was reacting to uh, Yahweh they didn't understand what was his testimony was all about and was the focus of his testimony, which uh, he told Apostle John through the angel what it was all about. So, Let me get a uh, revelation. Revelations 19. Revelation 19, the last sentence, it says, Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the, the whole testimony of Yahweh Shai is dealing with the prophecies. And what was missing with these elders and these high priests, these Pharisees and Sadducees, they was missing the prophecy. The prophecy of the Messiah, that he was supposed to come and be the Redeemer. But before he came to be the Redeemer, he was supposed to come and be a sacrifice. When you go into, uh, what is it, Isaiah 53, what about verse 4, 3 or 4, and it says, who have believed our report and who is the arm of the Lord revealed. It says um, in verse 3, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. We And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, he was esteemed him not, we esteemed him not. So this person is going to be coming to the world, and they're going to esteem him not. You see, then it says, um, Surely he have borne our griefs, okay? He bore our griefs and have carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. The Lord have led on him the iniquities of us all. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. See, it was letting it be known. He was going to be slaughtered for the nation of Israel. And these people wasn't understanding this prophecy. See, now... You get going back into uh, what he was telling the disciples in Luke uh, 24, he was telling them he came to fulfill everything that was written in the Old Testament. Same thing with Matthew 5. He came to fulfill what was in the Old Testament, the, the, the law and the prophets. And so Harold, the Edomite, understood this. Harold understood it, but these chief priests, Pharisees and Sadducees, they wasn't understanding the situation. You see, they wasn't getting the main prophecy that was being spoken of by Isaiah, uh, by Jeremiah, and uh, Ze Zechariah. All these prophets was prophesying again about the Messiah and about the Redeemer coming to redeem the nation of Israel because they heard through the prophet Isaiah and, and uh prophet Jeremiah that the Lord was bringing captivity to them. So how were they going to be redeemed from this captivity? And so these uh, lawyers, Pharisees, they didn't get it. So when Paul came on the scene after they had done 
conspired with the Edomites to kill Yahawashah, he was trying to bring it to their to they mind and let them know this more it's more than a law. See, y'all focusing on this law, 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 and it's bigger than that. See, it's bigger than y'all keeping that law. Y'all ain't understanding the prophecy. Y'all ain't putting faith in the prophecy about the Messiah. See, the Messiah was going to come and die for us. And we seen this man come and fulfill all these prophecies, and y'all still talking about a law. Y'all ain't even put faith in him yet. First, you got to put faith in him. And see, they wasn't understanding the spirit of prophecy. And this is what's going on now. These people is talking about a law and thinking that sin is the only obstacle that got to be uh, herded over. But it's not. See, sin is not the only obstacle. When you go into Matthew uh, 19, uh, what is it? Matthew uh, 19, 21. It says, Yahweh shall say unto them, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou have and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. This is this is what was going to be making the Israelites perfect. Not because they're keeping that law. Yes, they got to keep the law. We not saying you can't, don't got to keep the law, but you got to be perfect. Why are you keeping them laws and you rehearsing the righteous acts See, and you keeping the laws that is uh, able for you to keep, you got to be on the lookout for these prophecies. You got to have faith that he is going to bring these prophecies to pass. And the main, the, the main prophecy is in Revelation 13 and 16, that this dragon is going to have an all-out war against the Israelites and uh, put them into Jacob's trouble. See, and so this is what these people not understanding. Jacob's trouble is coming, and the part, the main part of Jacob's trouble, is Revelation thirteen and sixteen. Look at verse sixteen, uh, second of sixteen and seventy, um, seventy, seventy-one. Uh, and seven, it says, For there shall be in every place in the next cities great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Jacob's trouble, they're gonna come in with an insurrection. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they will waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See, they're not going to be saying, uh, we, we want y'all to sin. We want y'all to be sin, be in sin, and the, the focus is going to be sin. No, the focus is going to be take away your goods and your housing. Take away everything. See, everything will be taken. Jump back up to um, what is it, forty three? Uh, no, forty. It say, "Oh my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and the uh, and in those evils, be even as a pilgrim upon the earth." See, you are gonna have to follow your house shot as a pilgrim. Leave everything you got, and see that 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 money system is gonna kick you off the grid, kick you out of being. Uh, a regular citizen where you going to be having all your um, commodities being in a house, see, it's going to be Jacob's trouble and you going to have a temptation, see, to have all of these things because he once he take it, he going to offer it back. That's what the people not understanding. See, and them, them offering it back is going to be that yoke that he going to try to put on you. But I just want to bring that out real quick. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.